Captain Alex Carter and his crew were on a routine exploratory mission to the uncharted regions of the galaxy when disaster struck. A sudden meteor storm damaged their ship, the Star Voyager, forcing them to crash land on an unknown planet. The impact was brutal, leaving the ship in ruins and the crew scattered. Status report, Alex shouted, pulling himself from the wreckage. Lieutenant Ben Foster, his second in command, crawled out from under a twisted beam. We're stranded, Captain. The ship's beyond repair, and our communication systems are down. As the dust settled, the crew gathered their bearings. The planet was lush and tropical, with towering trees and vibrant flora. But the tranquility of the surroundings did little to alleviate their dire situation. We need to establish a base camp and assess our resources, Alex said, taking charge. We don't know what kind of threats we might face here. The crew worked quickly, setting up a makeshift camp and scavenging what supplies they could from the wreckage. As night fell, the unfamiliar sounds of the alien jungle filled the air, keeping everyone on edge. We need to stay vigilant, Alex reminded his crew. We have no idea what's out there. The next morning, as the crew continued to assess their situation, they were unaware that they were being watched. Hidden in the dense foliage, a group of tall, muscular women observed them with keen interest. These were the Amazonians, the native inhabitants of the planet. Later that night, while the crew rested, they were abruptly awakened by a rustling noise. Alex grabbed his flashlight and cautiously moved toward the sound. What he saw made his heart race, a towering Amazonian woman, her eyes glowing with curiosity and something more primal. Before he could react, she lunged at him. The crew scrambled, trying to defend themselves, but the Amazonians were swift and powerful. Within minutes, the men were subdued and taken captive. We need to stay calm and figure out what they want, Alex said, trying to keep his crew composed. The Amazonians led the crew through the jungle to a sprawling village built into the trees. The women's strength and agility were evident as they moved effortlessly through the forest. The men were brought before the Amazonian leader, Queen Talia, who regarded them with a mix of curiosity and suspicion. Who are you, and why have you come to our world? Talia demanded, her voice commanding. We're explorers, Alex replied, trying to remain calm. Our ship crashed here by accident. We mean no harm. Talia studied him for a moment before nodding. Very well. You will stay in our village until we decide what to do with you. Do not attempt to escape. The men were placed in a large hut and guarded by several Amazonians. As they settled in, Ben turned to Alex. What do you think they'll do with us? I don't know, Alex admitted. But we need to find a way to gain their trust. It's our best chance of survival. The crew spent the night in the hut, their minds racing with uncertainty about their fate. Alex knew they had to tread carefully and find a way to communicate their peaceful intentions to the Amazonians. Their survival depended on it. The days following their capture were tense, but Alex knew that building trust with the Amazonians was crucial for their survival. The crew continued to show respect and cooperation, hoping to demonstrate that they meant no harm. One morning, as the sun filtered through the dense canopy, Alex saw an opportunity to prove their intentions. The Amazonians were preparing for a hunting expedition, and one of their warriors, an imposing figure named Lyria, struggled with a damaged bow. Let me help, Alex offered, stepping forward cautiously. He showed his hands, empty and non-threatening. Lyria eyed him suspiciously but handed him the bow. Using his engineering skills, Alex quickly fixed the weapon. Lyria tested it and nodded in approval. You have skill, she acknowledged. Word of Alex's helpfulness spread, and gradually the crew was allowed to assist with various tasks around the village. They helped with repairs, cooking, and even participated in some training exercises, all under close supervision. One evening, as the crew was gathering water from a nearby stream, they encountered a young Amazonian girl trapped in a pit meant for hunting. 
Without hesitation, Alex and Ben jumped in to help her out, carefully lifting her to safety. Queen Talia, who had witnessed the rescue, approached them later. You risked your lives to save one of our own. Why? Because it was the right thing to do, Alex replied simply. We're not here to harm you. We just want to find a way to coexist peacefully. Talia regarded him for a long moment before nodding. Perhaps we misjudged you. You will be given more freedom within the village, but you must still earn our trust. With their newfound freedom, Alex and his crew began to interact more openly with the Amazonians. They shared their knowledge of technology and medicine, while the Amazonians taught them survival skills unique to their world. Bonds began to form, and mutual respect grew. One day, as Alex and Lyria worked together to repair a broken water wheel, he couldn't help but admire her strength and grace. Despite the language barrier, they communicated through gestures and shared experiences. You have much knowledge, Lyria said, her eyes bright with curiosity. Tell me about your world. Alex smiled, happy to oblige. Earth is a place of many wonders and challenges. We have cities that touch the sky and machines that explore the stars. But it can also be harsh and unforgiving. Lyria listened intently, her interest piqued. You are far from home. Do you miss it? Every day, Alex admitted. But being here, learning from you and your people, has been an incredible experience. We've gained so much. As the days turned into weeks, the crew's integration into the village deepened. They participated in cultural rituals, shared meals, and even joined in the village's defense training. The barriers between them and the Amazonians began to dissolve. One evening, as the village gathered for a communal feast, Queen Talia stood and addressed everyone. These men have shown courage, respect, and a willingness to learn. They are not our enemies. Let us welcome them as friends. The villagers cheered, and Alex felt a surge of relief and gratitude. Their situation was still precarious, but they had taken a significant step toward earning the Amazonians' trust. Later that night, as the festivities continued, Alex found himself talking to Lyria under the stars. Thank you for giving us a chance, he said sincerely. Lyria smiled. You have proven yourselves. We are stronger together. As they looked out over the village, united in their newfound bond, Alex felt a glimmer of hope. They still faced many challenges, but with allies like Lyria and the Amazonians, they had a fighting chance. As the bond between the humans and Amazonians deepened, a new threat emerged. A rival tribe, envious of Queen Talia's rule, sought to overthrow her and seize control of the village. The tension was palpable, and it wasn't long before the rival tribe launched an attack. The village was thrown into chaos as the two tribes clashed. Alex and his crew, despite their initial hesitation, joined the fight to defend their new friends. They used their advanced combat training to hold off the attackers, working alongside the Amazonians in a desperate struggle. Amid the battle, Alex and Lyria fought side by side. We need to take out their leader, Alex shouted over the din. It's the only way to stop this. Lyria nodded, her eyes fierce. Follow me. They weaved through the chaos, dodging arrows and engaging enemy warriors. Their target was the rival leader, a towering woman named Zara, who commanded her forces with ruthless efficiency. Zara spotted them approaching and met them head-on. The ensuing battle was intense, with Alex and Lyria combining their strengths to match Zara's formidable power. You are strong but not strong enough, Zara taunted, swinging her massive sword. Alex deflected the blow with his makeshift shield, gritting his teeth. We'll see about that. With a coordinated effort, Alex and Lyria managed to overpower Zara, forcing her to the ground. As they disarmed her, the rival tribe's morale crumbled, and they began to retreat. Back in the village, 
Queen Talia thanked Alex and his crew for their bravery. You have proven yourselves as true allies. We are in your debt. With the threat of the rival tribe diminished, the village returned to a semblance of normalcy. However, Alex and his crew still faced the daunting challenge of finding a way off the planet. They needed to repair their ship's communication systems to send a distress signal. We've scavenged most of what we can from the wreckage, Ben said, examining the broken equipment. But we're still missing a few crucial components. Lyria, overhearing their conversation, approached with an idea. Old ruins, far to the west, ancient technology. Maybe what you need. Hope sparked in Alex's eyes. It's worth a shot. Let's prepare for the journey. The journey to the ruins was arduous with the crew and their Amazonian guides navigating treacherous terrain and facing various natural hazards. Along the way, they encountered strange creatures and learned more about the rich history of the Amazonians. As they trekked through a dense jungle, Alex and Lyria shared stories about their respective worlds. I never imagined I'd find myself on a planet like this, Alex admitted, but I'm glad I did. Lyria smiled her eyes reflecting the dappled sunlight. You've brought new light to our world, Alex. I'm grateful for that. Their bond grew stronger, the connection between them deepening with each step. After days of travel, they finally reached the ancient ruins. The crumbling structures were covered in vines, and a sense of awe filled the air as they explored the site. Inside one of the larger buildings, they found what they were looking for, an ancient communication array that could potentially be repurposed. Ben and the crew set to work, with Lyria and the other Amazonians helping where they could. This technology is incredible, Ben said, examining the intricate machinery. We might actually be able to make this work. As they worked, Alex and Lyria kept watch, their senses alert for any danger. We're close, Alex said, his voice filled with determination. I can feel it. Just as they were making progress, a new threat emerged. A group of hostile creatures drawn by the activity attacked the ruins. The team was caught off guard, and a fierce battle ensued. We need to protect the equipment, Alex shouted, fending off the creatures. Lyria and the other Amazonians fought valiantly, using their superior strength and agility to drive the creatures back. However, the fight was intense, and the team was pushed to their limits. We can't hold them off forever, Ben yelled, his voice strained. Almost there, one of the crew members responded, frantically working on the communication array. With a final push, they managed to activate the array and send a distress signal. The creatures, sensing their prey's determination, began to retreat. Finally, the area fell silent. We did it, Alex said, breathing heavily. Now we just have to wait for a response. With the signal sent, they made their way back to the village, hopeful that help was on the way. The journey had strengthened their bond with the Amazonians, and Alex knew that, whatever happened, they had made powerful allies. Back at the village, the crew and the Amazonians waited anxiously for a response to their distress signal. Days turned into weeks, and tensions ran high as uncertainty loomed. During this time, Alex and his crew continued to integrate themselves into village life, helping with daily tasks and training with the Amazonian warriors. The bond between the humans and the Amazonians grew even stronger as they shared more of their cultures and experiences. One evening, as Alex and Lyria watched the sunset from a high vantage point, she turned to him with a serious expression. What will you do if help comes? Alex took a deep breath, contemplating the question. I don't know. I've grown to care deeply for you and your people. But Earth is my home, and my crew is my responsibility. Lyria nodded, understanding the conflict in his heart. We are grateful for everything you've done. You have become part of our tribe. Their conversation was interrupted by a sudden commotion in the village. 
Alex and Lyria hurried down to find Queen Talia, addressing a group of warriors. Scouts have spotted movement near the outskirts of our territory. We must be prepared. Alex's heart sank. Do you think it's the rival tribe? Talia nodded grimly. It is likely. They have been regrouping and may be planning another attack. As the village prepared for the potential threat, Alex and his crew took on key roles in the defense strategy. They worked alongside the Amazonians to fortify the village and set up surveillance points around the perimeter. Ben and the other crew members adapted their advanced technology to enhance the village's defenses, creating an early warning system to detect any approaching threats. This should give us a heads up if anyone gets too close, Ben explained, showing Talia how the system worked. Despite the looming danger, the bond between Alex and Lyria continued to deepen. They spent their nights discussing their hopes and fears, finding comfort in each other's presence. One night, as they sat by the fire, Alex took Lyria's hand. You've given me a new perspective on life. I never imagined I'd find something like this here. Lyria smiled, her eyes filled with warmth. And you have shown us that there is strength in unity. Together, we are stronger. The tension in the village was palpable as they awaited the rival tribe's move. Scouts reported increased activity near the border, confirming that an attack was imminent. Finally, the day came. The early warning system detected a large force moving towards the village. The alarm was raised, and everyone took their positions. We've trained for this, Alex said, addressing his crew and the Amazonians. We know what to do. Stay focused and stay together. The rival tribe launched a fierce attack, their warriors charging at the village with renewed determination. The battle was chaotic and intense, with both sides fighting desperately. Amid the fray, Alex and Lyria found themselves once again fighting side by side. Their coordination and mutual trust made them a formidable team. We need to take out their leader again, Alex shouted over the din of battle. It's the only way to stop this. Lyria nodded, her eyes fierce with determination. Let's finish this. They pushed through the chaos, making their way towards the rival leader, Zara. The confrontation was brutal, with Zara fighting with a fury driven by her desire for revenge. But Alex and Lyria's combined strength and skill proved too much for Zara. They managed to overpower her, forcing her to surrender. With their leader defeated, the rival tribe's resolve crumbled and they began to retreat. As the dust settled, the village erupted in cheers. They had defended their home and secured their future once again. Queen Talia approached Alex and Lyria, her expression one of gratitude and respect. You have proven yourselves as true allies and warriors. We owe you our lives. Alex nodded, his heart swelling with pride and relief. We did it together. We are stronger united. As the village celebrated their hard-won victory, Alex knew that their journey was far from over. But with the bond they had forged and the allies they had gained, they were ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. With the rival tribe defeated once again, the village settled into a cautious peace. The threat had been neutralized, but Alex and his crew still faced the looming challenge of finding a way off the planet. Their distress signal had been sent weeks ago, and they anxiously awaited a response. One morning, as Alex and Lyria walked through the village discussing potential improvements to their defenses, a loud crackling sound filled the air. They rushed to the source, finding Ben and a few crew members frantically working on the communication array. We're picking up a signal, Ben shouted over the noise. Alex's heart raced as he joined them, watching the screen. The signal was weak but unmistakable. It was from an Earth rescue ship. This is Captain Alex Carter of the Star Voyager, Alex said into the microphone. We're stranded on an unknown planet with coordinates 35.7624 degree N, 78.6369 degree W. We require immediate assistance. 
A moment of static followed before a clear voice responded. Captain Carter, this is the Earth rescue ship Aurora. We've received your signal and are en route to your location. Estimated time of arrival is three days. Hang tight. Cheers erupted from the crew and the Amazonians who had gathered around. Relief washed over Alex. Help was on the way. With the knowledge that rescue was imminent, the crew and Amazonians worked together to prepare for the arrival of the Aurora. They gathered supplies, reinforced the village's defenses one last time, and prepared a landing site for the rescue ship. As the excitement grew, Alex found himself grappling with a difficult decision. He had grown deeply attached to the Amazonians, especially Lyria, and the thought of leaving them filled him with a sense of loss. One evening, as the sun set and cast a golden glow over the village, Alex and Lyria sat together by the fire. The rescue ship will be here soon, Alex said, his voice tinged with sadness. Lyria looked at him, her eyes reflecting the same mix of emotions. I know. Your people need you. You have responsibilities. But I also have a responsibility here, Alex replied, taking her hand. To you, to your people. I found something here that I never expected. Lyria squeezed his hand, her expression resolute. We are stronger because of you, Alex. No matter where you go, a part of you will always be with us. As the days passed, Alex and his crew made their final preparations. The Amazonians threw a farewell celebration, honoring their human friends with music, dancing, and feasting. During the celebration, Queen Talia approached Alex. You have brought great change to our world, she said. We will always be grateful. And remember, you will always have a home here. The day of the rescue ship's arrival dawned clear and bright. The aurora descended from the sky, landing smoothly on the designated site. As the ramp lowered, a team of rescue personnel emerged, led by Captain Laura Blake. Captain Carter, Laura greeted, shaking Alex's hand. We're glad to see you safe. Thank you, Captain Blake, Alex replied. We couldn't have made it without the help of the Amazonians. As the crew began to board the rescue ship, Alex turned to Lyria. This isn't goodbye, he said softly. I'll find a way to return. Lyria nodded, her eyes filled with determination and hope. And I will be here, waiting for you. With a final embrace, Alex and his crew boarded the Aurora. As the ship lifted off, Alex watched the village grow smaller below them, a mixture of hope and determination filling his heart. The journey back to Earth was a time of reflection for Alex. He knew that the bond he had formed with the Amazonians and with Lyria was unbreakable. And as he looked out at the stars, he resolved to find a way to bridge the worlds they came from. The future was uncertain, but one thing was clear. The adventure was far from over. The journey back to Earth was bittersweet for Alex and his crew. The excitement of returning home was tempered by the bonds they had formed with the Amazonians. During the voyage, Alex spent his time thinking about the experiences they had shared and the promise he made to Lyria. Upon arriving on Earth, the crew was greeted as heroes. Media coverage of their ordeal spread rapidly, and they were celebrated for their bravery and resilience. Despite the accolades, Alex felt a sense of emptiness. His mind frequently wandered back to the lush forests of the Amazonian planet and the people he had come to care for deeply. Captain Carter, we need you for a debriefing, said General Thompson, a high-ranking officer who had been overseeing the rescue operation. The information you provide will be crucial for our understanding of the planet and its inhabitants. The debriefing was thorough, with Alex and his crew recounting every detail of their time on the planet. They spoke about the Amazonians, their culture, the conflicts, and the advanced communication technology they had discovered. There's something else, Alex said, his tone serious. The Amazonians are not just survivors. They're warriors and scholars. They have a rich culture and advanced technology that could benefit us greatly. We must establish a peaceful relationship with them. 
The general nodded, considering Alex's words. Your insights are invaluable, Captain. We will certainly take them into account as we plan our next steps. In the meantime, take some time to rest and recover. Despite being back on Earth, Alex couldn't shake the feeling of being torn between two worlds. He knew that his future lay in finding a way to reconnect with the Amazonians. Weeks turned into months, and life on Earth began to settle back into a routine for the crew of the Star Voyager. However, Alex remained restless. He frequently met with officials, advocating for a mission to establish formal contact with the Amazonians. One day, while Alex was in a meeting with General Thompson and other high-ranking officials, the general made an announcement. Captain Carter, we've reviewed your reports and proposals. Given the potential benefits and the bonds you've formed, we've decided to authorize a diplomatic mission to the Amazonian planet. Alex's heart leapt with excitement. Thank you, General. This means a lot to me and to them. The preparations for the mission were extensive. Alex was appointed as the lead ambassador, tasked with negotiating a peaceful alliance. He assembled a team of scientists, diplomats, and security personnel, all eager to explore the new world and foster a relationship with its inhabitants. On the day of departure, Alex stood on the bridge of the newly outfitted Unity, a ship designed specifically for diplomatic missions. As they set course for the Amazonian planet, he couldn't help but feel a sense of anticipation and hope. The journey back to the planet felt shorter, driven by the excitement of the mission ahead. As the Unity descended through the atmosphere, Alex's thoughts were consumed by memories of Lyria and the promise he had made. Upon landing, the crew was greeted by a familiar sight. The Amazonians, led by Queen Talia and Lyria, standing at the edge of the clearing. As Alex disembarked, he was filled with emotion. Welcome back, Alex, Queen Talia said, her voice warm. It's good to be back, Alex replied, his eyes meeting Lyria's. We've come to build a lasting alliance between our worlds. The next few days were filled with meetings and cultural exchanges. The Earth delegation shared their knowledge and technology, while the Amazonians demonstrated their own advancements and traditions. The bond between the two groups grew stronger, built on mutual respect and a shared vision for the future. One evening, as the sun set over the village, Alex and Lyria walked together through the forest. I kept my promise, Alex said softly. I found a way back. Lyria smiled, her eyes shining with gratitude. And we've waited for you. Our worlds are different, but together we can achieve great things. As they stood hand in hand, the future seemed full of promise. The alliance between Earth and the Amazonian planet marked the beginning of a new era, one where unity and cooperation could overcome any obstacle. Together, they would face whatever challenges lay ahead, stronger and more connected than ever before. The establishment of the alliance between Earth and the Amazonians ushered in a new era of cooperation and mutual benefit. As Alex and his team worked alongside the Amazonians, they began to realize the full potential of their collaboration. Advanced technologies were shared, new medical treatments were developed, and cultural exchanges flourished. The village, once a remote and isolated community, transformed into a bustling hub of activity. Scientists, engineers, and diplomats from Earth worked hand-in-hand -hand with the Amazonians, learning from each other and developing innovative solutions to common challenges. Queen Talia addressed a gathering of both Earthlings and Amazonians, her voice filled with pride and optimism. This alliance symbolizes a new chapter for our world. Together, we will achieve what neither of us could alone. Alex and Lyria stood side by side, watching the integration of their peoples with a sense of accomplishment. We've come a long way, Alex said, his voice reflecting the journey they had undertaken. Lyria nodded, her eyes bright with hope. And we have a long way to go. 
but with you here, I know we can face anything. One of the key projects was the development of a new communication network that would allow real-time contact between Earth and the Amazonian planet. Ben and his team, with the help of Amazonian engineers, worked tirelessly to set up the infrastructure. Once this is up and running, we'll be able to coordinate efforts and share knowledge instantly, Ben explained to a group of curious Amazonians. This will make our alliance even stronger. Despite the progress, not everyone was pleased with the new alliance. On both sides, there were factions that viewed the integration with suspicion and hostility. Some Earth officials were wary of the Amazonian's strength and independence, while certain Amazonian warriors saw the Earthlings as a potential threat to their traditions. Tensions came to a head when a sabotage attempt on the new communication network was discovered. An Amazonian scout, loyal to the old ways and opposed to the Alliance, had been caught trying to destroy the equipment. Queen Talia called an emergency meeting. This act of sabotage is a betrayal of our trust and a threat to our future. We must address this issue head on. Alex spoke up, his voice steady and resolute. We can't let this incident derail our progress. We need to strengthen our security and continue to build trust between our peoples. Lyria added, We must also understand the fears and concerns that led to this act. Only by addressing them can we prevent further conflicts. A council was formed, comprising leaders from both Earth and the Amazonian planet, tasked with identifying and resolving the underlying issues. They held open forums where people could voice their concerns and grievances. During one such forum, an Amazonian warrior named Kiro spoke passionately. Our ways are ancient and sacred. We fear losing our identity in this alliance. Alex responded with empathy. We respect your traditions and seek to learn from them. This alliance is not about assimilation, but about mutual respect and growth. Slowly, through dialogue and understanding, the tensions began to ease. The saboteur was given a fair trial and a chance to explain his actions. Instead of punishment, he was offered a path to redemption through service to the community. As the weeks passed, the communication network was successfully established, and the lines of contact between Earth and the Amazonian planet became stronger. The shared projects and initiatives flourished, proving that cooperation could overcome even the deepest fears and mistrust. One evening, as Alex and Lyria walked through the now thriving village, they reflected on the journey that had brought them here. We faced so many challenges, Lyria said softly, but each one has made us stronger. Alex squeezed her hand, his heart filled with pride and hope, and we'll continue to face them together. This alliance is just the beginning. The future holds endless possibilities. With the foundations of their alliance solidified and the bonds between their peoples growing ever stronger, Alex and Lyria looked to the horizon, ready to embrace the future. They knew that whatever challenges lay ahead, they would face them side by side, united in their vision for a better world. Just as the alliance seemed to be solidifying, an unexpected crisis struck. A mysterious illness began to spread among both the Amazonians and the Earth visitors. The symptoms were severe, high fever, debilitating weakness, and in some cases, a coma-like state. Panic ensued as the number of infected rapidly increased. Alex and Lyria immediately called an emergency meeting with Queen Talia and the Earth medical team. We need to act fast, Alex said, his voice tense. This illness could threaten everything we've worked for. Dr. Emily Hayes, the head of the Earth medical team, stepped forward. We've identified the pathogen, but we don't have a cure yet. We need to quarantine the infected and start researching treatments immediately. Queen Talia nodded, her expression resolute. Our people will assist in any way possible. We must protect our community. A quarantine area was quickly established, and the medical teams from both worlds worked around the clock to find a cure. 
As the crisis deepened, Alex and Lyria took on the roles of coordinators, ensuring that resources were efficiently distributed and that morale remained high. One night while overseeing the quarantine zone, Alex noticed Lyria looking exhausted. You need to rest, he urged, concern etched on his face. Lyria shook her head. Not until we find a cure. Our people are counting on us. Their determination fueled the entire community. Researchers and healers shared knowledge, blending Amazonian herbal remedies with Earth's advanced medical techniques. Despite the dire circumstances, the collaboration was a testament to the strength of their alliance. After weeks of relentless effort, Dr. Hayes and her team finally had a breakthrough. Combining an Amazonian herb known for its healing properties with a synthetic compound developed on Earth, they created a serum that showed promise in curing the illness. We need to test this immediately, Dr. Hayes said, her voice filled with cautious optimism. The first test subject was a young Amazonian girl who had been one of the earliest infected. As the serum was administered, the entire village held its breath. Hours later, her fever broke and she began to regain strength. The serum worked. The news spread like wildfire, bringing a wave of relief and hope. The medical team ramped up production of the serum, and within days, they had treated all the infected. The crisis was over, and both communities breathed a collective sigh of relief. Queen Talia called for a gathering to celebrate the recovery and to honor the heroes who had worked tirelessly to save lives. Today we stand stronger than ever, she proclaimed. This crisis tested our alliance, and we emerged victorious. Together, we can overcome any challenge. As the celebration continued, Alex and Lyria found a moment of quiet amidst the joyous crowd. We did it, Alex said, his voice filled with pride and gratitude. We saved them. Lyria smiled, her eyes reflecting the light of the bonfire. We saved each other. Our bond is unbreakable. In the weeks that followed, the village and the Earth delegation worked to strengthen their alliance further. They established permanent research facilities, shared educational programs, and initiated joint defense projects to protect against any future threats. One evening, as they stood on a hill overlooking the village, Alex turned to Lyria. I know my place is here, with you and your people if you'll have me. Lyria's smile was radiant. Our world is your world, Alex. Together, we will build a future where our peoples thrive. With their hands intertwined, they looked out at the horizon, ready to face whatever came next. Their journey had been filled with trials, but each challenge had forged a stronger bond and a brighter future. Alex and Lyria's story became a symbol of hope and unity inspiring both Earth and Amazonian generations to come. Their legacy was a testament to the power of cooperation, resilience, and love, proving that even in the face of the greatest adversity, unity could prevail. Together, they had created a new world, one where differences were celebrated, challenges were met with courage, and the future was filled with endless possibilities.